Hi everyone, so this is just a little update news thing. I apologise again sincerely for not having any book related videos up of late. I've just, uh, this entire year has pretty much been a book funk. Um, and yeah, w when I get stuck mentally I just can't, I can't force myself to read and I can't do it as an obligation. It's just, it's meant to be a pleasurable activity, so. I just have to linger and wait until my brain kicks back into gear and I can I can get into the act of reading again. Um, and yeah, with with some of the illnesses I have, I mean I have chronic fatigue, but I also have a condition called fibromyalgia, and that has that comes with what they refer to as fibro fog. So it's like um, just a lot of um, difficulty in concentrating and sluggishness of thought, which is probably quite prevalent in all the videos I do. So yeah, it just makes reading difficult. Um, I am trying, because uh, it's, it's literally been weeks since I picked up a book, so I'm trying now to see if I can maybe read some short stories, because I have a few anthologies and I thought maybe short stories is the right way to go about getting back into it a little bit. I was trying to read a lot of dystopian books, but then um, I had to take the Iron Thorn back to the library, which is a shame, but I'd like to purchase it and keep reading it, because then you don't feel like you have the ticking clock looming over you when you, uh, you feel that way when you have library books um and then i was reading birthmarked but i got to a point in there where i was feeling morally uncomfortable with what was going on so i had to put it down for a bit um so yeah i'm i'm seeing if i can read some short stories from enthralled which was sent to me by harper collins and it's paranormal uh, ya writers and all the stories are centered on a the theme of journey and melissa ma and kelly armstrong were the editors so they're, they're cool ladies. And I also have my um, Tales from the Tower anthologies, which are Australian, whoa, excuse me, Australian fantasy authors um, d doing fairy tale retelling. So I've got volume one, which is The Willful Eye, and volume two is The Wizard Wood. So I'm trying to read a few of the disturbing uh, short stories in here. All good fairy tales should be disturbing. And I know I have to give um, away silence and bleeding hearts to competition winners so i'll see if i can announce those tomorrow possibly because i know people want to see if they've won themselves a new book and there's some book tags going around that i'd like to delve into so i might see if i can film and upload those tomorrow we'll we'll see how we go i'm always just lacking energy entirely i just feel like sleeping all the time every day um, in non-book related news, I apologise for the singing videos that have been up lately. Feel free to ignore them, and I don't blame you if you're judging me for them. Um, but yeah, I, I, no one's under any obligation to watch the lunacy that um, that comes with my wanting to sing songs for no reason. So yeah, I apologise for those. There'll be a few more coming. So, <laughs> but to those who watched the lucky video and commented and whatnot, thank you very much. You, wrote some lovely things there and we were just messing around so we'll see if we can get better quality stuff done with the next few videos um do 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 i have a twitter now uh i finally jumped on that man wagon very belatedly i always say i won't do these things and then i do um so if you want to follow me i'll put the link in the doobly doo in my pants and um i mainly got that so i could celebrity stalk because that's what twitter's good for but uh yeah, just ignore all the incessant glee ramblings that I tend to do on there. Um, I have a really strong love-hate relationship with that show, especially especially lately, so um, yeah, apologies for that. Um, in relation to singing and glee, uh, my friend recently did a video audition online for the Glee Project, the second round of, like, the second season, if you like, of that. Um, I never watched that show and I hate reality TV, but um, I thought, well, you know, it's an audition in its own way for Glee, so I may as well just do that and say that I have. It was mainly, I guess, crossing it off a bucket list, if you like. So, um, yeah, I've done that. I'll link that in the doobly-doo as well if you want to watch it and like it or whatever. It's, um, it's a pile of rubbish, and I know that it's, like, completely redundant, and I hit a metaphoric brick wall by doing it at all, because I know it's going nowhere, but if you want to watch it, feel free. Um, so, oh, yep, final piece of news. And the same friend who did the Glee video uh, audition said to me, it would have been at least a month ago, very suddenly she said, Renee, do you want to go with me to New York at the end of December and I'm going to see 
Daniel Radcliffe in his last show or in How to Succeed on Bu in Business Without Really Trying on Broadway. And then she was going to stay and see Darren Chris when he takes over the show two days later. He's um, taking over D uh, Daniel's role for three weeks in How to Succeed. And I thought, holy shit, I really would like to. <laughs> I have no money, but I can prevail upon my family and beg. And I did. And oddly enough, it worked. So I'm going to New York and LA for um, just two and a half weeks, I think. We leave December 27th, so we should, we'll actually arrive there December 27th, December 27th, because we're ahead, we're ahead of y'all. Um, yeah, so if you happen to be a resident or you're familiar with, you know, New York City um, and there's cool things to do that you know of, please do suggest stuff in the comment section. Um, also, if you um, are a resident and you are a booktuber and you want to meet up, then do let me know. Maybe we can meet at a bookstore or something. That would be fitting. I only really know, is it the Strand bookstore that's really huge? I think that's the only one I know of. I, I might know of others, but I can't think of them at the moment. So yeah, certainly if you know cool book places just to look at, I probably won't have much spending money, but I can have a look around. So yeah, just any suggestions, put them there. We're mainly going there to stage door the arse out of Broadway and off Broadway because <laughs> we just want to find musical theatre people that we love. Um, yes, that's my news and um, see if I can do some book tags for everybody and hope everyone's going well and uh, that life is treating you, treating you fine. Um, Christmas is coming soon, it's pretty freaky. Every single year it sneaks up on you, doesn't it? But this year especially has really flown, I don't know, it's really quick. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's doing, doing well, and I'll give you a cyber hug. Hope you can feel that. <laughs> so yeah, much love and best wishes, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.